even today there's any amount of talk about how a Native American shaman becomes an eagle. Here, the occult scientists evolved other kinds of method. They pick other forms and make the forms work in a certain way. The occult sciences have many aspects to it. The Theravana Veda is all about this. In Native American cultures, they believe animal spirits play a role in human life. What is your understanding of the nature of the relationship between human energy and animal energy? <clears throat> See, in certain occult sciences, there are certain things that one can do, but uh, those things are seen as totally unnecessary in the spiritual realm, in the yogic realm, these are seen as totally unnecessary and a backward step. In terms of occult, these things are done. Recently when we were trekking in Nepal, we came across a valley like this where some Nepali tribes are doing occult like this with animals. And these are very powerful processes but these things were meaningful or useful before modern technology came because you could do certain things. There is a whole tradition of shamanism where it is… Uh, even today there's any amount of talk about how a Native American shaman becomes an eagle, becomes a fly, becomes a wolf, transforms himself into some other form and gets there and all this. So these are not just stories, it is very much a possibility that uh, one can transform his form if he wishes to. So uh, about people taking on the forms that they wish according to the convenience is not a new thing or it's not an unheard of thing. Almost in every part of the world it is there. Particularly, it is being publicized in a big way about the North American and South American shamans these days, about uh, shamans becoming eagle and becoming wolf is… these two forms are very common for them. That was not unheard of here, but it was looked down upon in this culture. There it is being looked up to because this is not spirituality, this is occult. Here, uh, our occult scientists, I call them scientists because they are that kind, they don't bother to convert themselves into a bird or an animal because they risk, because when you take on the form of something else, this body has to be preserved and it can always be misused. So. There have been incidents where uh, somebody left his body here in some safety and uh, let's say became an eagle and flew for some time. But when the eagle came back, the body is gone. Now what do, they, what do the eagle do? A eagle comes and sits here and says, I am a yogi. <laughs> Pathetic state, isn't it? <laughs> Because you cannot fly, you think eagle… being an eagle is a big thing. Being an eagle is not a big thing. Though he flies high, he's only looking down all the time. It's better to sit here and look up rather than go up and look down, really. <laughs> so, here the occult scientists evolved other kinds of methods. That is, they themselves do not take on other forms. They pick other forms and make the forms work in a certain way. They will take a certain animal, usually 
one thing that is heavily used is a chicken. Or you think that's a waste, huh? <laughs> you know, the chicken has to be young and vibrant chicken, uncooked. <laughs> so, release the chicken's life and use that life form to do certain things for you. Rather than you taking on the chicken's body, you make the chicken do things controlled by remote controlled chicken, all right? A remote controlled chicken is better than you becoming a chicken, isn't it? Because you becoming a chicken, there is a risk. You left your body and went, you went out as a chicken and tried to do something and you become somebody's tandoori <laughs> So, uh, they evolved better, more sophisticated methods to deal with the same things. So, yes, the occult sciences have many aspects to it. One Veda is dedicated towards this, Atharvana Veda is all about this. If we want to practice certain things, we could, but we don't allow such things here. Because what's the point? All that will happen is, you will get into more serious levels of ignorance. If you could uh, change two bodies, this and that, you will get more entangled in the process of life than you are right now. Just the sheer power of it destroys you in so many ways. Occult was a very useful process when there was no modern technology, they used it as an access to the physical world in certain ways, but it involves so much of struggle to get there. But today, occult is not so meaningful anymore because almost everything that occult could do and more modern technology is doing. You just have to send out a drone or… <laughs> or turn on your television or just your phone screen will tell you everything that you want to know. So you want to know where the rain clouds are, so you had to do something. Now it's not necessary, just the weather channel. I'm saying it's unnecessary effort. So it's better to focus on you evolving beyond your animal nature rather than developing a relationship with animal nature. How to get rid of the animal within you, that's my work, not how to connect you with animals <laughs>